been in uh, Charleston for five years now, which is really hard to believe. Yeah, it's amazing the decisions that a CRNA gets to make. Uh, I was telling Bernie, my uh, flight in here yesterday was a little eventful. Uh, sitting there about 45 minutes out of Atlanta. And the stewardess asked, uh, is there a doctor or a nurse on board the airplane? Profession, this is something that we just cannot tolerate because it puts our patients at risk. Feeling tired, with, even with adequate sleep, work dissatisfaction, increased instances of physical signs and, and, and illnesses, subpar job performance. So how do you cut down stress? Talk it out. Have somebody you can talk to. You don't just want to whine and, and moan and complain during staff meetings, but have somebody outside that you can talk to. Exercise. It increases illness is equivalent to a blood alcohol level of 0.05%, legally intoxicated. How many of you work 17 hours in a row? Yeah, quite a few of us. I had one weekend, we did seven, I was on call Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we did seven open hearts, emergency open hearts. I did all seven of them. The doc I was working with occasionally gave me, gave me a break. 24 hours awakeness has a blood alcohol level equivalent to 0.1%. It is an equally serious threat to the patient as well as the practitioner. And there is no other health problem or disease that affects our profession to the same degree. It is the number one occupational hazard that we have in anesthesia. Number one.